Okay, the next part of our drawing okay, is basically now doing our rails down the side and then our legs. If we refer to our rails here, there's a rectangle that is 280 by 40. Okay, so underneath here, what we can do is we can actually put, click on our pencil command and go to the middle, click and type in 40. So once we've typed in 40, we can press enter and that finishes the line. Now this pencil command is actually a continuous line. All right. So we can now go, if it is a measurement of 280, Let's go 140 this way and bring that up and click and that finishes that off. Let's then go this way, 140 this way, press enter and then take that up. So now we can actually go to our eraser and erase that middle line so that then gives us our rail from the side. Now there are little angles on here, okay, I'll just put those in so that you know, you can draw a line on a line, okay, and that's a 10 mil angle there, and I can actually go to tools and dimensions and show that that is 10 mil, exposition outside start, can delete that to say that's the angle that sets it's going on. You can do the same on the other side. Draw a line on a line, click there on the corner, move it across on the line, 10 mil. You can see how the green line is the starter. That's the start of the line. The red one, the red dot that's there, that can be you know, taken to any um, length, but once you've typed in 10 and then you press enter, that then suddenly shows you the end of that line is green. So the green is the end point of the line. So again there, turn some dimensions, clicking on that end point, that end point, bringing that down, Exposition outside end. Does that make sense? Okay. Might just delete that because we don't need to have measurements on both sides. Just get rid of that. Okay. Now here is another command, pan command, which will allow you to then grab holes of your drawing and take it up to the top. What we want to do now is we now want to draw our legs in. Okay, and our legs here from the top are 180 mil. Okay, and they are right on that 10 mil line. Okay, so that little angle that's in there. So if we go back to our drawing, we can go there's 40 straight away. Okay, so if our legs are 180, we can then just go 140 down. 140, press the enter. And then we go 19 across. And then up to finish our leg on the other side. 40 up. And then we go 140 down. 19 across. We won't see these lines up in here, so we can erase those. We can erase those. Okay. So basically, what we can see here now is that's not going to give me the dimension because I need to put the line back in. So let's put that line in there. Let's go to tools and dimensions. Let's go from that end point to that end point. And it shows 
is at 180, and I can delete that line. Okay. So let's get our pen, put this across again. Now what we can do, all right, is click on our paint bucket that's spilling paint out to get some colors. Okay. Now over here we can go to different colors or we can go to textures. Okay, let's go to wood because this is what it is. And let's click on this as our legs and base. And then maybe that one as our rail. Okay. Alright, and that can be it for today. Just get that front view drawn. Done.